I'm going to do a short little video here of some things I'm going to try out and what I've done on this new Lone Star Mini. But doing my fire basket a little different. I uh, used my T-plates to block it off. And like you can see, there's a lot more room back there. And I don't use the whole side. But right here, like this, I'll get a 10-hour cook. Just doing some ribs and a chicken wings tomorrow and then also I'm gonna try I used foil pans the last time but you got to clean them out and everything so or dispose of them but that gets expensive so foil is a lot cheaper so I lined the bottom of the water pan since I don't do not use water I use some heavy-duty foil and that way I can just pick that up and just throw it away or whatever but I'll be using uh, another rack down here that I don't have in. I took the bottom rack in, out too. But uh, like another thing, uh, if you're only going to cook on two racks, because I'm going to put the ribs up above and then you use another rack below for the chicken so the chicken don't drip on the ribs. Just another thing I cannot stand, but uh, will not do. I'm not going to cross contaminate. But also take your bottom racks out so everything ain't dripping, you know. On those racks and you have to clean them if you're not using them you know it's just a heads up some I used to do it for a long time and then I'd clean every rack and I was like why the heck? I got to thinking why am I doing this if I'm only using the two upper racks or two middle racks why have it dripping on the lower rack it's just you know others probably thought about it way before me you know I ain't the brightest guy you know so just something I've done and another thing I did was I bought a rubber mat from a uh, Home Depot. It's just a, uh, just a doormat that I've cut. Actually, that's just the piece I had left over, but I put it on the bottom inside the, on the cart. But I cut it to fit exactly, but just to protect the paint and stuff, and you know, keep it, keep it looking nice and not scratching anything. And like I said, what I had left over, I put on the top and. I put my speaker up there and my fireboard goes there in its case and you know just protects the stainless you know keeps it from scratching it still I still clean the stainless and stuff but it just you know I try to keep everything looking new you know just but just a few things that oh yeah one more thing I forgot about this I was having a issue or I didn't like the little bungee cord thing and which I think they should incorporate this or make it an option but uh, what I've done is I've uh, taken two magnets which I probably need to get some stronger ones it holds it real good but uh, I got one on the handle and one on that handle and I've used uh, molding tape car molding tape if you can see that but it uh, seems to hold real good keeps it out of the way doesn't flop down I mean it's this magnet it is not real strong I mean if you bump the smoker real hard it might come come down but just to keep it up out of the way so you ain't tripping on it laying down you know I just don't like that and the bungee cord thing is like you try to just kind of a pain to butt the bungee cord every time when like I said the molding tape works great and you like I said it just sticks up there pretty good i mean that magnet's probably strong enough i'm just probably being i'll probably get a little bit stronger magnet but like i said it's just uh molding tape two-sided molding tape on there to hold the magnets but it works real good and one more thing i uh put a paper towel holder right here and it works real good too the only thing is it doesn't have anything to hold it so i do have another magnet when i'm not using it like tonight just to hold the just to hold the paper towel so I've come out here in the morning before and on my other smokers and the whole thing be unrolled everywhere but works pretty good you know but that's all I got just a few things I kind of did and I'm gonna try tomorrow and you'll see it I'm gonna do a video or cooking tomorrow but like I said if you don't want to use all your fire barks you know kind of learn like I'm doing now is just learning the other day I uh, I filled the bottom like this and didn't even go I went just maybe a little bit further two-thirds and it went for 
I think it was 31 hours, something like that. So, I mean, these things get a long burn time. So, cut down on charcoal use. I mean, charcoal is expensive. Why, why use that much, you know? If you can save time and kind of figure out where you need to de be. But I like these tea plates. Like I said, I got it doubled up here. So that way it stays, you know, one's going this way and one's going the other way. So it kind of supports itself and... Why use all that charcoal when you don't have to, you know, and still get a long, long burn time, you know, and I've used wood and charcoal. I got, I'm using a Royal Oak Chef Select again, and then I've got wood underneath, wood on top, and then I got a little bit of mesquite lump mixed in too there. So, but you might try it out and see what you, see what you think. And like I said, You'll see my cook tomorrow if you watch my videos, but thanks for checking it out, guys, and have a blessed day.